Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today I'm reviewing something a little different than my usual fare, which is exciting. Really? I love doing these videos, but it's always nice to try something new. And this time, we're headed back to Chiba Hut on Sahara and Rainbow for some great grub, an amazing show, and an interview with some masked musicians. Put on by Hell House Productions, this show promises to wake up the neighborhood. And it may be me getting older, but this time, I'm bringing some earplugs. As I mentioned in the intro, this show promised to be a little different. Every band specialized in being louder than loud, so it was a good thing Chiba Hut's stage is outside. Ranging from thrash metal to noise core, the evening had a surprising range and depth beneath the decibels and dark clothes. Another unusual thing about this show was that, except for two local bands, every other act on the bill was from Denver. Must be something in the water. Opening up the show was Victim of Fire, the first out-of-towners of the night. Brutal from the get-go, this crust and death metal band kicked things off by kicking in the door with complicated guitar parts and a tight rhythm section. This set the stage for the rest of the night, whetting the crowd's appetite for all things noisy and loud. On the field today, hi, what's your name? My name's Bob Fever! Bob, what do you do? I'm in artillery! Thank you, Bob. Is we play anything for you? Anything! Just play it loud, okay? Next up was another Denver band, Kronos Compulsion. They took the torch lit by the first act and ran it to another level with deeper, guttural lyrics in the vein of Doomcore, fused with classic death metal, but more intricate and technical. Repping the local music scene was the third act of the night, Headgore. By the way, this would be the interview I referenced in the intro to the video. If you'd like to see that interview, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out. I also recently reviewed their EP, A House That Seems to Breathe. Incidentally, if you'd like to be interviewed, reviewed, or both by me, just click the social media link in the description and uh, hit me up. We'll have a good time. Donning ski masks and balaclavas and combining elements of noise core, no core, and math core, head gore, lit up the night with an electric performance that introduced a little theater to the show, showcasing their self-modded effects and a palpable rage at today's societal inequities. Their set blew away the crowd and set the stage for the next act. Popping back over to Denver, Insipidus swung the evening's musical pendulum firmly back over to the death metal side. Mixing classic metal sounds with classic death metal vocals and technique, the band melted faces and won fans. Final Denver band of the night was Astral Tomb. This band came for one reason, to sprain some necks. Immediately causing mass headbanging with their brand of cosmic death metal, their sound was tight and heavy. Self-described as a mind-exploring death entity, their lyrics covered themes like space, death, and esoteric phenomenon. Finishing out the night was the other local act, Ash Throne. Slightly pivoting from death metal, they inflicted power violence rock on the audience and made sure the night ended on a heavy note. Like the other bands on the bill, I'm looking forward to interviewing them soon. One of the great things about the crowd at the show was that no matter the genre, if it rocked, they loved it. If only every show could be like that. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll swing by Chiba Hut if you're in the neighborhood, and I hope that you'll check out all the bands. I've got their social media links down in the description. Uh, other than that, like I said, if you want to be on the channel, hit me up using the social media link. That is also the best way to support the channel, whether it's room6.shop for merch. This one says, I work, I work out because it ain't getting lighter. And uh, I also have CDs and a Patreon page. It all goes to help the scene. It all goes to make better videos as well. Um, other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up there. And if you'd like to subscribe, it would really make a difference. Please click down there and don't forget to ring the bell. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.